There are very few crypto games out there that I can truly say are really fun to play. And Blanco's is definitely at the top of my list. If you love multiplayer games that are really fun and have a good interactive element to them with competition, then Blanco's is a game you should be playing. Now they've just come out with some massive, massive changes to the game. I'm gonna break them all down for you guys because there are so many that you need to know about these changes if you want to top that leaderboard. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. Now, Blankos has been one of the games I played quite a bit on my live streams. We play it together. If you guys ever jump in during my live stream, you know that uh, we have a lot of fun jumping in and playing all these different maps and doing the vibe collecting, doing races, and doing the pew pew together. Uh, but there are some massive changes that they have rolled out for this top crypto game. And so we're gonna go over all those changes here, but before we get started, if you love gaming, NFTs, and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel right here and smash that like button if you like what you see, then jump in our Discord with all our community of stashers. We're talking about NFTs, gaming, and the metaverse on the daily. So Blanco's has gone through some pretty big changes here and they've rolled out what they call Blanco's Brawl. This completely changes the way that the game plays on multiple different levels. Now there's some good and there's some bad. I'm gonna break down both so you know what really to expect and you know what I'm not so happy about either with these big changes. Now the first thing comes with the way that they are actually, you know, the game actually plays, right? So Blanco's Brawl has brought a whole new gameplay experience and what you're essentially doing here is it is very Fall Guys-like-esque, right? So the first thing you do is you're starting out with a, it's a three stage tiered battle. And the first thing is a team qualifier. So you have two different teams that are, that are pit against each other. And the winning team is the one that is going to go on to the second round. So you're gonna have your purple team versus your orange team. And uh, you're gonna be out there doing one of the, the three different uh, you know game modes that they have out there. And whichever team you know wins that game mode is then going to go on to the qualifier. And this is where it is now a free for all. So before you were on a team with these people, now you are pitted against these people to move on to the final stage. And so then the final stage will break down, will be the top eight Blancos that uh, are gonna be uh, you know vying for this position, right? And uh, then you go to this final stage and you're gonna be uh, able to go for first, second, and third. Uh, in this uh, final stage and you'll be crowned the brawl champion for that match. Now, this is the overall change to how Blankos is played. If you guys remember before, uh, you know, they had these preferred matches. You'd go in the junction, you'd go in there and randomly give you a preferred match or you could go play a very specific map. Now, I'm, I kind of lament the fact that you can't do that really much anymore. Like they don't put a focus or emphasis on the community maps like this. And with a lot of the changes we're gonna talk about here, it changed the way community maps are gonna be played forever in the future. Now, one of the biggest changes here outside of just the brawl changes to the way you actually play is the movement changes. And what comes with that is they have gone away with, they've done away, they've gone away, they've done away with having a double jump, which was a signature here for Blancos. Tons of maps utilize the fact that you could double jump to be able to create lots of really great, interesting obstacle courses. Now they've replaced that with the jump and drift. So essentially what you're doing is you jump and then your second jump, it'll keep you hovering and you can move around while you kind of hover and like spin in place. So it's a little awkward to me, to be perfectly honest. They said it was to be able to make it easier so you could land in certain spots and you know exactly where you're landing. But I, I honestly find it a little less intuitive than the previous double jump. So that's definitely something that I'm not super happy about. It does eliminate a lot of these uh, community maps and, and other maps that were made that really have to have that double jump. If without that double jump, getting be able to go twice as high, uh, there's a lot of things you just can't access. And so it, it feels a little clumsier playing with that jump and hover. Now, the other big change here is to flying accessories. So all jetpacks or any flying accessory, now they all work the same. 
So before, if you had like a hot dog one or a different jetpack, like some of them worked a little bit different. And they did this to try and level the playing field, right? So everyone that has a, a jetpack or a flying accessory, it's all going to work exactly the same. And they now have like a kind of a hover mode too, so you can you can uh, stay and hover at the same level. I do actually like these changes. I like the fact that you know I did I did appreciate the fact that you had these extra special accessories that flew you in a different way. But then I can see that it really turns into like, okay, well this is a pay to play thing, right? I have to pay to get this special accessory because it does it differently or better than the free ones or other ones that you get so I understand the change here I'm a little bit more uh, accepting of this than the jump one but uh, you know I, I do lament the fact that some of these cool ones you don't have to have anymore uh, they, they've made it easier to kind of fly in place too which I think is really cool as well so that is a welcomed addition here now some other new additions uh, that are going to you know kind of be part of the gameplay here is now you have like a, a pre-match lobby where you can hop off this bus right and you're hanging out with people uh, it looks a little bit different than the, the ring that we had before. Uh, also, too, when you lose and you're waiting for a match, you'll also be in a uh, spectator camera mode, which is kind of interesting. So that's something kind of all FPS games where when you die, you go into spectator mode and you can switch around to everyone who's still left. And with uh, Blanco's Brawl also comes leaderboards. And this is the big one, right? So if you're all about competition, you want to be in the top of that leaderboard. This is going to track your stats, your wins, any of your pins that you're earning and KOs. All the stats across the, 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 the board are going to be there on the leaderboard. And so you'll be able to see that uh, as you rank up. Now, uh, they do have some new things in here. When you're playing Blanco's Brawl, you're earning moolah, you're earning your, your points for your, uh, your dailies, but then you're also going to be earning new things called pins. And so these pins are uh, you know, things you get when you rank uh, certain positions and you know, move on through the different stages of the Blanco's Brawl. Now, outside of these big changes here for uh, jumping and for flying, they've also made significant changes across the board for all the skills and perks as well as weapons. So there are so many changes here. I'm not gonna go into every single one, but this is something you definitely need to look at if you've built up your Blancos to one of the higher ratings here and uh, you have all these skills unlocked or you have Blancos with different skill sets. They have totally changed out the different skills. They've done some balancing here to kind of make it more fair. Same thing with the weapons. They've done a massive balance to all the different uh, guns in the game. And they have a new weapon called the bat. And this bat is actually pretty cool. So you can get in there, it's a close range weapon and you can charge it up to knock vibes out of other Blancos, which I think is kind of fun. So when you're in these uh, these team battles or these free for alls, you know, you can grab a bat and just knock those vibes out of other people. And it's great for the vibe collecting levels that they have here that you're gonna be uh, competing in. But the, the changes to the weapons and the skills and perks are pretty significant. Now, some other things that we uh, note here is they now have two different types of vibes. So they're gonna have your regular vibes that you had before where everyone can just collect them and they're always gonna be there until you collect them. And they also have now what they call solo vibes. These are vibes that only one Blanco can collect and once that person's collected them, they are gone forever. And this is gonna go in, in hand in hand with the, the fact that they have a new 50 vibe value uh, out there and uh, that will be something that you, you may be looking to have a solo vibe. So you wanna try and get to those as quickly as possible. Uh, otherwise, you're probably not gonna win that level. So. Uh, a couple other things that are brand new here that are a little bit smaller is uh, they have done away with the happy hours for now. So they were having this happy hour where you could get uh, increased XP uh, for your Blancos by playing. They're, they're, they'll probably bring that back here in the future. Uh, but there's also some, some brand new props. So there are in, uh, interactive, some more interactive props and they have destructible props, right? So ones that you can beat up with the bat, which is pretty cool. Things like vibe clouds, disappearing platforms are all being added now as new things for people to use to build on. So uh, beyond all the information here that I've given you guys for what is new here in Blanco's Brawl, if you haven't been playing Blanco's, now is the time to jump back in. It's a different game. There's so much more to explore and to, you know, to really like optimize your gameplay for versus how it used to play. Uh, and one of the cool things too is that we are looking at Blanco's and uh, there, the NFTs for the platform being bridged over to Ethereum and OpenSea here. So that's also a pretty big development here. So if you have not played Blancos or you've been sitting on some of your your uh, your, your Blancos there that you haven't uh, you know opened or you haven't sold, now maybe it's time to revisit this game, see how fun it actually is to play, jump in and fight against me and the rest of the stashers, and I'll see you guys out there on the battlefield. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.